Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. Just checking out the second floor of this Alice Garden Pods. It's actually the third floor. Um, I've, I've run around and I've managed to turn off all of the TVs in here, I think. Which, I don't know why I felt compelled to do that, but I did. So, people are probably not too happy with me, since I have just robbed them of the ability to watch the exact same news story from Eliza Kassan over and over and over and over. Most people in this hall work for Taiyo. I've heard that. I have heard that before. Okay, let's start checking out some of these pods then. Let's come over here. Senchuan Hutai. Notice you cannot turn off radios ever. If you've got if you got Lazarus yammering on and a radio, it's impossible to shut that off. Nice to meet you too, man. Uh, nothing. Nothing. What? Okay. Now I'm gonna steal stuff from everybody's pods. Revolver ammo. Oh, a pocket secretary. Missing you from Papa Panda at Hengsha to Lotus Blossom at Hengsha. This message has not been sent. My dearest Wen, I am having a nice time on my business trip. Australia is wonderful. Someday you will come with me and I can show you the sights of Melbourne. I miss you very much and I wish I could be home with you and your mother in Hengsha. But I have a duty to fulfill and I must stay out on the road for a little while longer. I hope you are behaving for your mother and that you are helping her around the house. The hotel I am staying at is big and beautiful. The people are so glamorous. I feel so common among them. I do not yet know when I will be coming home, but when I do, I will bring you gifts for being such a good girl. Lots of love, your father. Oh, this is actually really sad. This guy is lying to his family. He's actually apparently fallen on dire straits and is being forced to stay in this little crap hole. And he's telling his family he's off on a business trip and he's going to be coming home. And he had some ammunition in here, which means maybe he has fallen into a rough lifestyle. Or maybe something terrible has befallen him. And I just stole his stuff, which of course makes me feel really good. Well, let's check this vent out, shall we? Do to do to do, crawling through a vent. Let's see where this takes me. I can overlook the. Uh, I could snipe everybody with my trank rifle from in here if I wanted to. <laughs> this will probably take me back out to where that other vent was that I saw that I couldn't. Yep remember this and I was like tried to figure out how to get up there well there it was that's how you do it not certain what the actual functional utility of that vent is but I guess maybe it will become clear to me later all right what's up man thanks you too move this vending machine over here out of the damn way These people have like some shared cooking kind of space. Well, not really cooking so much, just microwaves and little food prep areas. As well as the stores down below where they can actually buy stuff. Cyber boost, energy bar, stun gun darts, credits. Wow, whoever this was had all kinds of stuff. And an ebook with XP included. Thank you. Electrogravitic Technology Applications from a Technology Demonstration Lecture presented to the United States Air Force in August 2015 by Dr. Hugh Darrow of Darrow Industries. Based on an immature design of Russian origin, we've been looking at this technology as an applicable functionality for enhanced human subsystems in the military arena. While it isn't a substitute for an actual physical descent system, such as a fast rope or parafoil, the electrogravity generator is now at a level of intricacy whereby we can implant it in a human being. The core unit, the generator module and powertrain, 
is fusion bonded to bone at the base of the implantee's spine and a distributed mix of dermal sensors and monitoring fibers in the inner ear work with a built-in accelerometer to activate it in a pulse phase mode if the implantee's body enters a state of uncontrolled fall for more than a couple of seconds. With practice, skilled operators have been able to drop from heights ranging from beyond 30 feet to upwards of 100 feet with zero fall trauma. You can understand why we nicknamed this the bungee cord in R&D. Awesome, so that's explaining about my Icarus landing system. Cool. Okay. This is a nice little thing here. Let's uh, move this vending machine over here. Just for the sake of moving it. Here's some more pods. Number 141. Anything in here? Some CDs. Or DVDs. They, they, they're, they're CD colored though, aren't they? Somebody's got some serious computer stuff going on in here, I think. Alright. Hello, ma'am. I am. Wow, if you want to sit down, you have to literally be sitting, like, hanging out of your little pod because you, you know, don't have anywhere else to go. Hey, a beer. I'll take it. I can't believe I'm stealing from these people who already have so little. Operational exigencies. Again, you understand. Got a box there. Hey, man. I want your loot. Whoa. That's probably an appropriate response given the fact that I'm in here stealing everything from everyone. What's up, drunk guy? <gasps> oh, this guy has lost a loved one. His daughter, his wife, his sister, his girlfriend, somebody has been taken. No wonder he's in here commiserating. Well, he's not really commiserating. Commis commiserating. He's just drinking. Well, he, I guess he started commiserating once I was there. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hello, people. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That does not look made for two. Ah. Poor guy. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, man. You are not going to get her to join you in there. What if I could, man? Not so good for couples, though. Let me check your place out. Okay, I checked it out. Everything appears to be... All appears to be safe in there. And by safe, I mean free of loot. What we have going on in this one? Hey, pocket secretary! Now we're now we're talking. Travelers update from Liu Biao at Hum Fam at Hubei to Hun Fam at Hubei. This message has not been sent. Dear Mama, I hope this letter finds you well. Please give my love and regards to Father and Dui Li. I miss you all very much. Life in Hengsha is very exciting and the opportunities are too numerous to mention. However, it is a very difficult place if, like me, you have little money. Life is very expensive here and poor people are not treated the same way we treat the less fortunate back in our village. It seems like the city is so big. People lose... People lose... People lose what? What do they lose? People just lose, I guess. Wow. Yeah, this place is seeming more and more sad. As we go along. But then again, people coming from their country village to the big city and having to deal with all of the inequality and the struggles. It's a story as old as time itself. Okay, it's actually not as old as time itself. 
time's quite a bit older, I think, probably, than villages or cities. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm just making sure your pods are safe. Safe from the dangers of excessive loot accumulation. I am. You don't mind if I look around in here, do you, ma'am? Thanks. Have a nice day. What's not so good is your loot, really. Alright, so that's one section examined. Stripped clean of valuables. Am I a terrible person? Yes, I am. Ebook. How to win at Mahjong. I've always wanted to know how to win at Mahjong. The basics. It is a mistake to think of Mahjong as a game of pure luck. To be successful requires considerable skill. For example, the player who is well versed in the rules and who masters the scoring chart will make the best decisions. This is one of the most basic strategies to master and win a game of Mahjong. Another helpful tip is to notice and memorize the discarded tiles of other players in order to know what tiles they will want to pick up. Play carefully to have an edge. In Mahjong, prudence is rewarded. When discarding your own tiles, do so discreetly. This will keep your opponent from figuring out the type of hand you are playing. A good Mahjong player should be flexible enough to change tactics in the middle of a game if necessary. It always pays to be adaptable. Strategy. Once you receive your tiles, immediately evaluate the number you will need to win. For this, you must determine the specific number of tiles you will need to finish with the shortest possible path. Playing to win. Do not be afraid to take chances. Discard any tiles you will not need. Playing not to lose. Discard your tiles cautiously. If you require only three tiles or less after four draws, you should play to win. Otherwise, play for a draw. Playing for a draw. Don't be the first to discard a dragon or win tile. Don't play with doubles, and don't claim one for a triplet. It is now safe to discard. Keep the contents of your hand concealed. Alright, there you have it. Right here on Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution, you have learned the master strategies to win Mahjong. Get out there and play some Mahjong now, confident in your new knowledge. Feel free to watch this video again if you need to. For additional help. He can't speak English. You know what he can do? Get his trank darts stolen. Have a nice day. Oh, you already did help me. You really did. Thank you. He helped me. I am not with Bell Tower. Playing a little Mahjong. But I'm a master player now. What? I'm just honest citizen. I will not get involved with a stranger. You speak English. I mean it. Just go away. Somebody left some credits over here on this table. Well, let me best pick those up and make sure that they do not fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands here having the meaning anyone's hands but mine. I'll move that. What else do we have going on over here? Hello, credit chip. People should not be leaving those lay around everywhere. That's just asking to get them stolen. Maybe you can help me. Nope, it would appear that you can't. How about you? Yeah, what, you, you've not left credits and or your personal information laying around? Well, that's unusual. So this is the pod I already checked out that had the had the information. Okay, that's all there is to see over here. Section two. Now what's over here? Oh, it's also section two. Hey, man. Goodbye, my Chinese friend. Ah, and this leads out to the where the fire escape thing was. Okay, that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Josiah plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.